All right, what's going on guys? It's Cody Church. Today I'm gonna bring you guys my first ever tutorial video. Um, on my Sam Kohler video, I got a lot of requests to do a tutorial for the handy seamless transitions. Uh, I don't think there's that many videos on YouTube actually that go over how to use them or how to install them into After Effects. Uh, so I'm gonna do that for you guys today. Also, next week or the week after that, I've got a really cool video coming for you guys. So if you're not subscribed already, make sure you click that subscribe button and let's get into this video. Basically when you download it, um, I'll leave the link below to download it, but this is going to be your important file right here. Um, so basically what you're going to want to do is copy it. Um, you definitely want to keep this in a safe spot just in case something goes wrong. I'll talk more about that in a little bit, but just don't delete this file. Um, okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to go to your finder back here and you're going to find your hard drive. So mine's just labeled Macintosh HD. If you don't know where that is, which I actually couldn't find it for a while, it took me a minute, but you click go and then computer and then here's your hard drive. So whatever you have all your information for After Effects on, that's what you're going to want to open. So if it's not your actual computer hard drive, then go to where it is located. Um, and if you want this on the sidebar, just drag it over. Uh, so that's what I did so I can get easier access to it. And then from here, you're going to go to Library, Application Support, Adobe. And then this CEP folder is what you're going to get. Uh, if you don't have that, they tell you to just create a folder called CEP. So you just click File, New Folder, and then CEP. And then um, you make another one inside of it called Extension. So for me, I actually already had this stuff. Uh, you guys probably will too. I'm not sure how it works, if you have it or don't. But so inside extensions, I already have it. I have it twice because sometimes it just doesn't work. So I pasted another version into it. So that's why I said to keep it safe. Like if it's not loading in your After Effects, you probably just want to either like delete it and then repaste it in there or, or paste another one in. That's kind of what I did. So yeah, so now it's going to open once you get an After Effects. So quickly, I'm going to actually go to Premiere and... I already messed this up, this video up, so I'm just gonna delete that to show you guys how I did that. Um, all right, so basically, this stuff, just ignore this. This is like my colors and what and whatever on this test footage. This is just some test footage I shot the other day um, when I got my camera, which is in my who who am I and like what is my channel video. If you guys want to check that out, if you haven't seen already, if you're curious to know more about me, that is. <clears throat> so. What I do is I edit in Premiere and then do like final touches kind of in After Effects. So basically, um, let's say this is your base timeline right here. Um, so, so I don't mess things up. What I do is I keep my base timeline at all times and that's why I don't apply the colors onto the clips and stuff. But this is, I'm gonna show you guys what I do for this. So select all of it and you hold option to drag a copy. So you're gonna wanna make copies. That's what I'm doing right now. Make a copy of this one also, this one, and finally this one. Because I do this because I used to not do this and I messed something up in After Effects and I tried to get back my original uh, like timeline right here and I couldn't get it back somehow. So that, it was it was horrible, it was just annoying. Um, so I make copies from now on so if something goes wrong you can just delete that big After Effects file it gives you or clip that it gives you. So now what you're gonna do is select every clip that you wanna use. I wanna use all of these ones. Whoops, not this one though. Okay, let's retry that. All of these, this, this, and this. Boom, replace with After Effects comp. So what that's gonna do is gonna open up After Effects for you. So yeah, that's from when I messed it up. But here it goes. All these same clips um, that I just had except without the color corrections that I made because I did not bring over these top files. But yeah, so this is what it turns into, is this copy of test A7S, that's what my project's called. Um, yeah, you got it. And then that's what the After Effects is called. I just made it untitled. Um, so then you still have this base timeline. So if you don't want this, you can just like delete it or move it out of the way and you still got all your original stuff. So back to After Effects. All right, so now that you guys already did the first step, which was putting it into the right folders and everything, you should be able to just go to Window, Extensions, Handy Seamless Transitions. Um, it's gonna load for a sec, and then it's gonna bring up this little side window. 
I have version 3.1. I think the newest one might be 3.3. I don't know, but um, for now, I'm just going to work with this. I'm pretty sure it's pretty close to identical. Um, and looking through this, you can kind of already tell that it's a pretty like well-made little plugin right here. Um, you highlight over this, and you boom, you get like a little preview of some of the clips in there, like of what you're looking at. So all of these crazy transitions, that one's so cool. Um, and then once you drop down this down arrow, more and more and more and more and more. So there's like unlimited, almost unlimited possibilities within this. Um, of course, it's kind of up to you and how creative you can be with them. But I guess right now, um, oh wait, let me talk about all this stuff. This is how you can add one if you, whoops, oh, why is it like that? Jeez, okay, we're just gonna go down here. If I wanna go to camera hand, all right, why is everything highlighted? Time out. <clears throat> okay, let me let me retry that. Yeah, here we go. So if you want to just add this one, you can click that add button, or the easier way is just double click it and it opens right up. Then if you want to do time remapping, uh, you can do that, which I'm not exactly sure how to do, but that, and then I guess you can delete them if you don't like them, and then that will, oh, that's kind of nice. It'll remove the sound from the previews. But yeah, they do actually come with sounds too, which I'll talk about in a sec. And then this is just information. I'm gonna remove this sound because that's kind of annoying. Um, actually, no, we'll just leave it on. So what I'm gonna do right here is, you see this part of this, okay, wait, let me drop this down. So this part of the video, that's actually just hand camera motion. Like I did that with my hands and kind of just dropped it down. So I think we can add to that with these transitions. Um, Obviously, this isn't going to be anything crazy. I'm kind of just giving you guys a test drive. So I'm going to go to these ones. Since I've done this so many times, I already know which one I kind of want. Um, I'm just going to go to the short and then top. And then double click it. Double click it, sorry. There we go, boom. Uh, it tells you exactly where you want to put this arrowhead right on the cut. Um, so yeah, like just leave it there. I don't know what happens if you move it away. I've never tried it, but... I would probably just suggest leaving it there. And so boom, that was laggy, but let's retry that. Boom, that gives a nice extra downward motion effect, kind of spirals it over to the next one. And then, like I was saying, it, it gives you the audio. Um, if you don't want it, boom, you click it off. If you want it to be louder, which you might need to be for an after effect, you can adjust the levels right there. I'm just gonna, well, I'll just leave that zero, but yeah, so that's pretty cool. Let's see. I'm going to just put one here as well. Just why not? These ones are super cool too. You're definitely going to see some of these on YouTuber videos and this is where they're from. This little preset pack. So we'll just do this 90. Boom. I don't know. We're going to try this one. Okay. So where did it put that? Oh, whoops. I don't know why it just overlaid that, but I think it was because I selected on. So now that that's over there anyways, we're just gonna add another one. Um, so I accidentally messed that thing up, but this is what this one will look like. Let's let it lag through a little bit first, load itself. I apologize, my computer is not the fastest. All right, cool, let's look. Boom, that's so sick, okay. So they're just pretty crazy transitions, it kinda, just combines everything in a crazy way. Um, I'll show you guys this kaleidoscope for this last clip right here. Um, this is pretty pretty crazy. So yeah, here we have this. Let me let this lag through a little bit. Oh, that's a weird sound. Um, okay. Well, yeah. So basically, when you're putting these on here, I definitely would not put them on every transition like I'm doing here. This is just to show you guys. Um, I think that pretty much the coolest time to use them is when you have a lot of motion and you can kind of just throw a couple of these in there and it will just make that crazy effect. Definitely try to be creative with them and unique with them. As always, try to be unique. Um, yeah, so let's play this one out real quick. Really cool, see, like, I, I just, these things are so crazy. I don't use them enough um, for having them, but 
they are always a cool option in the back of my head. Um, so yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this one, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them below. I did go through this kind of fast because I have made this video three times before this, and I mess something up each time, but hopefully this one's the one, and just, yeah, let me know if you have any questions, and subscribe if you like the video, check out my channel, you know the drill. Um, see you guys, hope you have a good day. I put ash in the